Hello and welcome back. If you're looking for a video where you can learn the basics of a bar bending schedule and estimating the amount of bars that you will need in your reinforced concrete structure or reinforced concrete element, this video is specifically for you. As you can see on your screen, I have done the estimations and everything. In this video, we will work with the details given for this reinforced concrete column, out of which we will create a bar bending schedule like this. So the most important thing that you need to have in your bar bending schedule or the shape of the rebar and the total number of the sides of the rebar and their length, out of which we will get the total length, we will have the diameter of the bar, then we will calculate the sectional area of the bar. And as you can see, we have the unit weight of the bar given and the unit is given in here as well. We have the quantity of those bars and finally we have the total weight required for this structural element. So stick with me till the end of the video in order to learn how to calculate everything shown on your screen in this bar bending schedule here. So in here as you can see we have the number of the bars, the different types of bars will have different numbers and then we have the shapes, the length of each side of the shape and then we have the total length and everything given in here. In order to differentiate the header, I'll give this a different color from here, make it this yellowish color. And since we have two bars, I will only need two rows in here. Uh, I will give them the borders and the bar number one that we are going to use is, as you can see in here, is the stirrup. So for this stirrup, what I will do is, I have already saved this as a PNG picture and I will import it into Microsoft Excel. And here I'll go to insert, I'll go to pictures, and from my desktop, I will import this picture and click OK. I'll make this a little bit smaller and in order to fit inside the cell in here. And since this look OK, next thing that we have to do is to write down the lengths of all the sides. In order for you to understand what is A, B, C, and D in here, what I have done is I have named this an A, then I have B, I have C, D, E, and F. So all these are sides of this stirrup in here. So for side A here, I'll write down from the top here. This bend is equal to this one, so it will be 80. Then we have side B, which is equal to this side, which is 540. Then we have C, which is 240, and so on. So first of all, in A, I'll write down 80. And in B, as you can see in here, we have 540. So I'll write down in here 540 and then in C it was 240. D will be the opposite side of B. Again, it will be this side in order for you to understand. This will be D, this will be E, and this will be F. So for D, I'll write down 540. And for E, I'll write down 240. And lastly for F, again, it will be 18 millimeters. The total length in millimeter will be equal to sum of all the cells in here. And press enter, we will have 17 and 20 millimeters. Now, the diameter is given in the plans in here. If you see, our stirrups are given to be 10 millimeter diameter at 100 millimeters center to center spaced. So in here, I'll write down the diameter as 10 millimeters. For the sectional area, we will use the mostly known formula, which is pi times d squared or diameter squared divided by four. So I'll write down pi, open parenthesis and close parenthesis, times d squared, which is this diameter in here. I'll select this one. Again, since it's a square, I'll, write, I'll select this one a couple of times. This will be divided on four. And in here, we have the sectional area given. For the unit weight of the steel, we have 7,850 kilograms per cubic meter. And the quantity, in order to calculate the quantity of the steel bars needed as stirrups in here, we have to refer to here. As you can see, for the 750 millimeters from the top of the column, we have the stirrups spaced at 100 millimeters, which means that we should divide this distance by the spacing in here which will mean that we will need seven and a half. Since we are beginning with the bar and ending with the bar, so the formula will be this divided by the spacing plus one. So instead of seven and a half, we'll write down eight in here. So we'll need 
eight of the bars in here and the bottom of the column is the same as the top of the column, eight of the bars will be needed in here. In the middle here, we have one and a half meter or 1500 millimeters of space in which the stirrups are spaced on 150 millimeters. So what we will do is divide 1500 by 150, which will be 10, and then we will add one additional to that. The formula, as you can see on your screen, is dividing the span by the spacing plus 1. So in here, we will need 11. We needed 8 here, and 8 here will be 16, and 11 in the center here. The total will be 27. So in here, I'll write down 27. For the total weight, I'll write down the quantity multiplied by the unit weight, multiplied by the sectional area, multiplied by the total length. But since these units in here are given in millimeters and this unit is in cubic meters, we have to convert one into another. In order to convert the millimeters into meters, since in here we have 79 millimeters square, in order to convert it to meters square, what we have to do is to divide it by a thousand square, which is the conversion rate between meter and millimeter. So the thousand square will be a million. So in here in the parenthesis, I'll write down a million for this one. And again, multiply this since we have to convert this length into meter as well. Since this is given in millimeter, we will divide it by a thousand. So as you can see in here, we have the 29 kilograms of steel bars required in this shape. And the shape number two will be the straight bars given in here. As you can see in the cross section, there are six of them and there are 16 millimeter bars. And the total height of the column is three meters in here. We will not consider the overlapping and the splicing in here. We will only consider whatever we see here on the screen. So the total length will be three meters or 3000 millimeters. For that purpose in here, I'll, I might go and in, insert a picture or go to insert and draw it myself. And here I'll draw a line and adjust it a little bit and let's change the color and maybe the thickness of the line from here and this will be bar number two it has only one side which is side a and that is also 3000 millimeters long so again we will apply the same formula in here i'll drag this down it will be 3000 and the diameter of this one was 16 millimeters for the sectional area, I'll apply this formula. And for the unit weight, we have the same unit weight of steel used in here as well. For the quantity, as you can see in here, we have six of them. So I'll write down six. And for the total, I'll apply the same formula. And here, as you can see, we need 29 kilograms of 10 millimeter bars. And in addition to that, we need 28 kilograms of 16 millimeter bars for this concrete column. I hope you have found the content of the video helpful. If you did so, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and following us on Instagram and LinkedIn. Till next video, good luck with managing and estimating your projects. Thank you for watching.